Hello students, now in this video we are going to discuss about some of the most abnormalities in the trends of value of chemical shift that are known as diamagnetic anisotropic effect. Anisotropic effect means unusual effect that we are getting. First of all, by taking the advantage of our structural effect, we just will have a review on the value of chemical shift. Please see, this is methyl proton, this is methylene proton and this is methane proton. As I have already told you that methyl proton one time attached to carbon, three times attached to hydrogen. Carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. More electronegativity. After that, please see it is methylene. So definitely on this side also it is attached to carbon. Two carbons, more D shielding. Three carbons, still more D shielding. Now, as these are the three carbons, attached to the similar group please see sp3 carbon sp3 carbon sp3 carbon but please see the trend the normal ch3 will appear at 0.9 delta but when that will be the normal methylene the value will be 1.4 please you should have a practice that writing the chemical shift of particular proton definitely underline the protons see in the same way when it is attached to three carbons, when it is attached to three carbons, definitely that proton is methane proton, maximum D shielding. Please see 0 0.9, 1.4, 1 1.5 when it is attached to sp3 hybrid carbon. Similar trends, please see this is sp3 hybrid and this is sp2 hybrid. You know that yes character is 25% and yes here yes character is 33.5%. More S yes character, more is the electronegativity. And please see, as electronegativity increases, definitely D shielding should increase. So this is having value 1.6 delta. Same thing happens over here. This is methylene proton. It is attached to sp3 and it is sp2. More S yes character, definitely D shielding increased. Third, see this is sp2 carbon atom. This is also sp2 carbon atom. But this sp2 carbon atom attached to carbonyl. So that's why that value will be more de shielded that is 2.1. Similar case happens that CH2 attached to carbonyl group. Please see the value is 2.4. Here also the trend C is going to be the same. Like that NR2. In this nitrogen although it is having lone pair. But it is having out of these two it is more electronegative it will pull in its electron density so it is having its minus i effect similar case happens when we will go from methyl to methylene methylene to methane definitely d shielding will increase and when we are having more electronegative groups definitely there will be definitely d shielding now when methyl group is attached to aromatic ring it is 2.3 when methylene group is attached to aromatic ring it is 2.7 when methyl methane proton it is 3.0 please see just now we have discussed that out of bromine and bromine and chlorine chlorine is more electronegative that bromine that's why this value is 3.1 delta here this value is 3.4 delta and here this value is 41.1 delta Oxygen being a maximum electronegative, please see this value is 3.3. Generally, how to understand normal CH3 is 0 0.9. When it is attached to carbonyl, it is 2.1. And when it is attached to oxygen, it is 3. So it is 1, 2, 3 like that. It is clear. It is 1.4. This is 2.4 and this is 3.4 for our understanding rough idea. This is 1.5, this is 2.5 and this is 3.7. So 1, 2, 3, 1 1.4, 2.4, 3.4, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. So normal methyl appears at 0 0.9 delta. Now this is okay. This is having a reason. Now the similar thing that is unexplainable 
please see that we have done that when in our previous video when a normal hydrogen attached to sp2 hybrid carbon it is having 0.9 when the similar nitrogen similar hydrogen is attached to sp2 carbon atom it is 5.3 because it is attached to sp2 hybrid carbon but when it is attached to sp definitely it will go to the deshielded zone downfield region but please see it is appeared to be a shielded proton so this is an abnormality in this case have you understood that when we are having ch3 ch3 the normal ch3 will give 0.9 when you are having ch2 double bond ch2 it is giving 5.5 but when it is ch ch so definitely ch triple bond ch definitely it will show more than that but there is abnormality this is found to be shielded so what is the reason for that this is the first abnormality second allylic thing when it is attached to carbon it is also having a more value third carbon carbon attached to the carbon carbon double bond if it is 5.5 so aromatic ring is also a carbon carbon double bond so why there is a greater difference there is also second abnormality and the next most abnormality that aldehydic proton please see we have done that when hydrogen attached to sp2 carbon atom it is 2 point ch3 attached to carbon carbon double bond 1.6 ch3 attached to carbon oxygen double bond 2 point it is having a difference of only 0 0.4 here you see when hydrogen attached to carbon carbon double bond 5.5 and when hydrogen it is attached to carbon oxygen double bond it is 10 so this is another abnormality so the question is why acetylenic protons are shielded second why allylic protons are deshielded why aromatic protons are deshielded and last why aldehydic protons are deshielded these are the four important factors this thing we can explain on the basis of the factor known as diamagnetic anisotropic effect for explanation of a diamagnetic anisotropic effect this effect is totally depends upon the orientation of molecule when we will take nmr means when we are going to take the nmr of the molecule either molecule orient in the parallel manner or it orients in the perpendicular manner this is the most important thing please see this is carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon double bond these are the electron so induced magnetic field will go in this direction this induced magnetic field and external magnetic field is in the opposite direction so when because of the orientation if it will orient like this definitely this protons will get shielded if it is oriented in the parallel like this that's why it is getting the external magnetic field and induced magnetic field is in the opposite direction that's why phenomenon of deshielding you know that benzene ring benzene ring orient like this electron density is present above and below please see the electrons are revolving around like this and that's why the induced magnetic field will come in this side and when induced magnetic field will come in this side external magnetic field and induced magnetic field is in the sorry when it will rotate like it if it is in the plane and this these are the rotation of pi electron but please see the sigma electrons orient in the same direction that of the external magnetic field and when it will go in the same direction of that of external magnetic field sorry it will go in the same direction to that of external magnetic field this is again deshielded external magnetic field and opposite external magnetic field and induced magnetic field is in the opposite the same direction to that of the external magnetic field definitely the phenomenon of deshielding let me tell you only one thing due to orientation due to orientation the induced magnetic field and external magnetic field will be in the same direction in case of acetylene what is going to happen acetylene the external magnetic field and induced magnetic field goes in the same direction when it will go in the this is the delocalization of pi electron but sigma electron this external magnetic field and induced magnetic field is in the opposite direction there will be the phenomenon of shielding so this is known as 
डाय मैग्नेटिक एनिसोट्रॉपिक इफेक्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई वॉन्ट्स टू टेल यू दैट इफ देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेन्जीन द प्रोटॉन्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लेन ऑफ द बेन्जीन दे आर डी शिल्डेड माइनस 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 बट द प्रोटॉन्स विच इज प्रेजेंट अब एंड बिलो द प्लेन ऑफ द बेन्सिन दे आर शिल्डेड वेन वी आर हैविंग एसिटलिनिक ग्रुप द प्रोटॉन्स विच इज प्रेजेंट इन धिस कोन दे आर शिल्डेड बट द प्रोटॉन्स विच इज प्रेजेंट इन धिस इट इज डी शिल्डेड most interesting thing that when you are having acid that acid will dissociate into r c double bond o o minus plus h plus you know that this conjugated base is this is the stabilized by resonance and as it will stabilize by resonance h plus will be free in the solution this h is naked it is a single hydrogen which is not surrounded by electron density and because of that this hydrogen requires a very less magnetic field for the excitation that's why acidic hydrogens are maximum d shielded they are having value 9 to 12 delta so this is the phenomenon of diamagnetic anisotropic effect this explain the phenomenon of shielding and d shielding now in this video we have discussed the factors affecting on shielding and deshielding dear student if you like my video please subscribe press like button and share it to maximum thank